<laughs> Welcome to Roverland. How the hook are you? This is your friend Dano, and have I got a one on Wednesday for you? Yes. Uh, I can't believe I haven't done these before. I don't know um, what I was waiting for. <laughs> these are awesome. Boy, let's just get right into it. Um, yeah, Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. And today we're talking about MotorWorks Diecast Metal, 118th scale. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, pride and joys of uh, the Roverland collection. Yes, this is for ages 8 and up, as you see there. Um, boy, I tell you, <laughs> this is a very interesting... Um, uh, die cast model very very heavy very heavy uh, 118 scale this is huge um, just for quick reference here uh, just take a stick here and uh, that's almost 10 inches long yep lining it up there you know and they're about uh, what uh, four and a half inches tall so very very uh, big uh, just about, uh, what is it, uh, well you can't quite see that, three and a half inches, four inches wide. Uh, just a big model. So we looked at the sides, let's flip around to the back here. Um, yeah, they have listed here like uh, 38 different cars that you can uh, collect. Right there top of the middle is the Land Rover Discovery. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, so, wow, if you uh, like this, uh, you can freeze frame this here. Boom, there you go, and hunt and collect them all. Yeah, 38 of them. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to spend a pretty penny to try to collect all 38. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that right now. So, uh, let's, before we look to the bottom, we're just going to take a look at the model for just a second. This is kind of reddish maroon color. Um, I believe they're like hard plastic tires, two-piece plastic, very, very detailed. You see it's got uh, rotors and uh, calipers in there, uh, nice uh, standard uh, alloy Land Rover wheels. This one has got the tan interior, thanks to the sunroof on the top, the two sunroofs. We can see right into this nice tan interior. Look at the seat belts. Yes, look at the contrast. That is awesome. Um, two-tone on the uh, uh, dash, you see uh, black inserts, the vents, the uh, emergency brake, which is pulled up high and tight there. <laughs> the shifter is an automatic, I believe. Yeah, maybe it's a manual. That kind of sticks right up there. Maybe it's a manual. It wasn't the um, automatic a T-stick? I think that, yeah, that might be a manual. This has got the three-row seats. Um, this is a later model. Uh, the Discovery one I had, the Disco one I had, had the uh, rear seats interfacing. So this is a late, late model that has them uh, forward facing. Uh, but very, very nice. Uh, very clean model. This, uh, the camera is showing it up a little bit light than what it actually is. It's not that bright tan. It's more of a, a darker uh, caramel tan. But um, yeah, very, very cool. I'm just taking a look. No, I think that that is, uh, this, I think that's an automatic transmission depicted. Yeah, I barely see there is a brake and a gas pedal there. But very interesting. They have individual um, uh, wipers on there. Uh, very, very nice. Lens detailed uh, in the front uh, and the back. Those are lens details. Um, Boy, yeah, Dano, can you take it out of the package? Well, you keep on praying and hoping. Maybe I will because, well, we're going to take a, we're going to, I'm going to put that aside because I hate opening stuff. But anyway, let's flip the box to the bottom here and uh, we're going to talk about, here's all the trademark stuff and everything about the, uh, the different models and everything like that that they did. But here's the interesting part right here. 731 aught aught yes and that's part of the uh, uh, the uh, UPC code marketed by Walmart stores Inc Burlington uh, Benningtonville ben, 
Bentonville, Arkansas. Yes, uh, made in China. Copyrighted, t copyrighted at 2003. Yes. So here we go. Let's start talking about this. Motorworks. Man, oh man. I was telling you about these, uh, these uh, cars. And uh, man, um, <laughs> this branding, this uh, logo, they're, uh, yeah, that's something else. Well, let me just ramble on and kind of tell you what's going on. Um, first off, I got to confess to you. <laughs> yeah, it's not my one and only. Yeah, I got another one too. Yeah, same identical thing. Uh, uh, same red one. This is uh, very kind of cool. Uh, I never thought that I'd have uh, two of them. Um, I believe that uh, I bought these in the store. I'm sorry, I'm trying to put those that aside because I got something else I want to show you. Um, and it kind of goes with the more motor works, okay? Uh, we're going to jump into this one here. Okay. All right. I, I've got a little confession to make there, folks. I don't have just two red ones. I got a silver one as well. Yes, in the uh, Roverland collection. Uh, this is a silver one. Uh, same box and everything. Uh, everything is identical, except this is silver. Same interior, same everything, everything other than it is gray. So, oh, silver. Uh, let's call it silver. Beautiful trim work. Uh, I do see a, a little flaw there in that back window there. But, uh, yeah, other than that, this is uh, really kind of cool. Now, you may want to ask, what is that word that's backwards on there? Hmm, could that say uh, motor works? Yes, it could. All right, the one of Wednesday has turned into um, one, two, three, four. Yes, four. What of Wednesdays. Well, it's the one and only casting I have. I do have three colors. Uh, four models. All right. This is a nice blue one here. This is great. This is awesome So the box is giving it away uh, 2003 so um, Somewhere along the line, uh, I believe I bought all these at Walmart because these were uh, uh, Walmart uh, distribution. I, I lived in Tomo for many years. That's where the Walmart was so I was there every day of the week and so, yeah, very kind of cool. So, once again, we're going to talk about this Motor Max. All right. And while we're talking about Motor Max, I did some uh, um, looking and uh, stuff like that. And you probably remember Motor Max in these buggers here. Yeah, these are Motor Maxes too. As you see here on the bottom there, it says right there, Motor Max. So these are 164 scale Motormax Discoveries. Same year and everything, practically. Uh, double sunroof, all that good stuff. Uh, really kind of cool. So they make uh, Motormax of these 164 scale. <sighs> Back to Motorworks. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I went on eBay. They even said that this one here, even though uh, I've never really... Um, got any more research or anything about they say this police patrol according to ebay one of the sellers there said that this made in china uh was a motor max uh vehicle discovery same setup same discovery uh but anyway that's just a what if if you ask me so supposedly motor max motor uh motor works is kind of the same company. Motor Max started in 1997, uh, Hong Kong, China, okay? But this Motor Works was a trademark of Walmart. And uh, if you do any searching on, on the Google, uh, it talks about um, Motor Works. They have had um, some uh, up to 24 scale, 116 scale, and then Motor Max does that uh, that little uh, little one too. So 
yeah, um, I think what happens is, is these, these uh, China-based, Hong Kong-based companies, uh, like the one website that I looked at says that there were six different companies all conglomerated under like the Motormax uh, name. So if you go on uh, eBay, you can find Motormax, Motorworks, Discoveries, and you can find them in a silver box that says Motor Works with a little, uh, uh, their own little special badging or uh, sign. So uh, as far as I know, Motor Works is still up and running today. So I think what happens is, and this is my theory, and only my theory, <laughs> is that this Motor Works series was built and designed and packaged for Walmart. Other, I, and I think it was by Motor Max. Motor Max did it for them. And actually, it, that Signia, yeah, that's the Signia. Usually those wings there and stuff are gray. So that's what they, um, that's my theory. That's how you get into uh, one of these. Um, you know, I've got two of these and... Um, we're about out of time. We're 11 minutes. I like to keep these in the 10 minutes. Uh, if you want me to unbox one of these, maybe the next Saturday or next Wednesday, the one of Wednesday or an unboxing Saturday, I can do it. But you got to put a comment down below if you want to see. I will open one of these red ones. Maybe this one here. It's kind of bulging in the package and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, a little look at the one of, of Motorworks in the Land Rover collection. Oh, yes. Those are big and heavy. They're a very nice model. Uh, plastered on, oh, look at that. It has on there 2004 Land Rover Discovery. There's the nameplate that's on the base that it's on. So it's bolted to a base. Very well packaged. Very cool, cool. Now, not to be just, um, um, warning, not to be confused, Maisto did a Motor Works series 164 scale on the card uh, that's different than Motor Works, okay, which is a trademark uh, die cast. So there you go. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one up Wednesday. This is your friend Dano. I'm gonna scoot on out of here. Thank you for joining me. And as, re and as always, remember slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.